Hey yo, what's good guys? We were back in the hallway. Uh, it's been roughly half a year since the last office uh, tour slash manga collection video. So I um, thought I'd do one since it's it's almost been half a year and uh, the collection has grown quite a bit. And uh, the room looks kind of different, like updated the uh, furniture and stuff. So, I mean, might as well just show it off, you know. So let's get into it. Same across the old door. Same sketch uh, blind situation over there. But um, yeah, let's start with the desk setup. One of them IKEA Alex drawers with the with the kitchen countertop uh, setup, which is very nice. I just recently got rid of that gaudy. Uh, mouse mat that I had for a long time, which is getting kind of crusty and, and dirty. So picked up this fake leather one, which is really nice. It's a bit wider, so I had to move the, the screens back. I think I didn't have this PC last time I did this. So yeah, this is an updated PC with a 3080 inside. So that's really nice. Um, with, an, uh, with a water cooler too. The last one was uh, a um, just a, a regular old Cooler Master cooler. Um, this up here I haven't changed too much. I added uh, a few nicks and nags like the the Boba Fett and some art prints and um, the Star Wars Funko Pops were probably the last time too. This might be new, the Fat Pikachu, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and this is where I store some of my empty box sets. Um, I might have to find a different solution for this or put those over here in the window area. Um, whenever I run out of space for manga, I'm going to put the manga back in here and deal with with saving space that way. Um, but yeah, that's the, the desk setup. Two monitors, nice little PC. A lot of lighting on there. Um, as you can see, I'm very fond of the the blue and and uh, violet lights behind the TV and up on the shelves. Over here, we have some more knickknacks, uh, some hand sanitizer. Um, so from back when COVID was still like a massive issue in my country, it's not too bad right now. We are too preoccupied with something else. <laughs> um, yeah, art books still over there. Haven't touched them for a while. Kind of grew out of art um, for a while. Might get it back into it. Who knows? Um, some prints, random knickknacks. This looks like absolute trash. So not gonna go too much over that. Uh, here we have my converted bar um, thingy that I made into a, a storage for my Yu-Gi-Oh stuff and for my. A newly acquired Pokemon Switch light, which is I'm actually really enjoying the light uh, more than the regular Nintendo Switch. It just feels sturdier for so, uh, for some reason. Like not having the the reattachable Joy Cons is is kind of reassuring actually. So I'm really enjoying that. Switched out the couch with these nice leather recliners. Um, sorry for the mess. I'm kind of. Going in between being too hot and too cold, so I have my s sweater laying around. So yeah, but yeah, these are very nice. And they're great for watching TV or playing the PS4. Don't have a PS5 yet. Um, <clears throat> I, I focused on getting my my PC set up instead. So yeah, the figures are pretty much the same, except I added the Spardog. Um, everything else should be the same. Gotsuba and some Bethesda Funko Pops. I'm honestly not a big fan of Pops anymore, but I, I still have a couple around the room that have just been acquired throughout the years. So, yeah, let's uh, move on to this Kalex unit. So, up top we have the Naruto box sets and uh, the big Funko Pops of the Pokemon. These are actually really nice. Uh, these are very cute. I, I, the, the plan was only to get this one, but it was to get Bulbasaur, but I found the other two for a good price. So I picked them up. Um, shout out to the Dark Sage for putting me on these diecast Pokeballs. 
the Premier Ball and the, the Dusk Ball are those are my my favorite Pokeballs. And uh, the kind of super figures over here from Pop Up Parade are very nice, and I'm really glad that they're actually finally doing a a Kasuma one. Um, down here we have the the waifu jar. <laughs> um, when I'm feeling um. And when I'm in a real good mood, this becomes the Shrek jar. And it's a pretty big jar. This is compared to my hands. So it's like almost a gallon, I believe. Um, it's three and a half liters. I think that's near a gallon. But yeah, let's um, get into the manga, I guess. Let's start with this one and then we'll move on to these two Billy shelves. So up here... We have uh, Dora Hidoro 1 through 23. Um, this is the thing I'm going to be reading next, and I'm really excited to have the entire set. I uh, decided to, to get on it when they were reprinting in it, and then I was literally just waiting for this volume 21, and then the reprint came in, and I, I snacked it up, and I'm ready to read it now. So 1 through 23 complete, 15 volumes of Oremia. I think this is up to date, but I'm not quite sure. There might be a volume 16. I'm actually not sure if this is finished or if it's ongoing. I should really look into it. But yeah, 1 through 15 of Horimiya. 1 through 9 and then 11 of I Am Hero. I'm missing that volume 10. It I need a reprint. I just can't find it anywhere. And it's really annoying <clears throat> because I really want to read that series, but won't read it until I have everything. And then down here we have Plunderer 1 through 2 and then 4 through 8. 3 is in my bedroom where I'm I'm reading it right now. It's kind of a weird series, but they were restocking, so I picked them up from Yen Press. Who knows, then maybe they'd be worth some money in the future when they go out of print. <clears throat> 1 through 25 of... Um, of uh, Tokyo Revengers. These are some really nice, uh, this is the only Japanese manga I own and they're like really nice. The covers are super dope. I wish we would get the singles in English, but we're getting an omnibus, so it's better than nothing, but I don't know, they're, they're doing a weird release where they make volume two cover. Oops. Let me just put that there. Were they making volume two, a special edition cover for an American uh, retailer? Was this is going to be the, the World Wild um, cover release? So, not sure if they're just going to do that where every second uh, cover is going to be a special release for, uh, is it Barnes and Nobles or something like that? Would be kind of whack, but oh well. Uh, and then over here, we have a little Shusho Ashimi moment. Um, Flowers of Evil, Blood on the Tracks, and Happiness. And then an up-to-date set of Terraformers that really need to get into reading this too. But I picked it up because it was restocking and yeah. Uh, I just can't control myself sometimes. So I, I decided to pick this up because I, I've heard from some people it's good. I've heard from other people so it's bad. So I want to read it and, and kind of see for myself. But the... The spines are kind of clean, this white and black spine with the faces down here, it's kind of nice. Uh, we have the, the uh, Diva Gelda, uh, which is made by the same person who made Blade of the Immortal, so... I, I've only read like one-fifth of this, so I'm not sure if if it's any good, but I can only assume it's it's decent, um, since it's by the same creator as Blade of the Immortal. You know what, we might as well go over this little Kalax that um, doubles as a comic book storage and a TV stand. Down here we have Little the Immortal and um, Attack on Titan, the Colossal Editions and a bunch of light novels. Uh, there is Konosuba, ReZero, Rascal, Button Tier Character, bon Tomosaki, -cha. that is Tomosaki, there's no notes, um, honorific, sorry about that. The Bleach light novels, a Full Metal Alchemist light novel, and solo leveling. And over here, we have um, 
Hellblazer, John Constantine, uh, the first four of the, the trade paperbacks, and all five of the graphic novels for Percy Jackson. Um, then moving on to my complete... There's only one series on here that's ongoing, but everything else is complete. Um, actually, oh wait, actually I'm lying. There's two series that's ongoing, but the rest is complete. So up here, uh, the... Pokemon Adventures Collector's Editions 1 through 10. Wolf Children. Actually, I, I've read, I think, half of this and I'm really enjoying it. And it, it's it's a good read and it's if you enjoy Pokemon, it's an interesting take in the whole, uh, the whole world. And, and it's a lot darker than you'd expect, but it's pretty cool. Up here we have a little Usara moment of um, 20th Century Boys and um, Monster. I finally re replaced the... I had a volume that was really scuffed, so I replaced it. I think, was it... What was volume 9? Yeah, I had one that was like cracked from the, the seller, but picked up a new one. Um, I'm really enjoying these series and I, 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 I like a good mystery manga. And... That's what you get with Urasawa most of the time. Uh, all you need is kill Ryoku. Kind of whack. Might get rid of these, to be honest. I, I read them, and they're kind of a niche like type of series, but... Oh, well. They're, they also come in a box set now, so if anyone's interested, I should be picking up that. Over here, Tokyo Ghoul, Volumes 1 through 14, and Re Volume 1. I got tired of waiting for the... the the box set, so I just started picking up um, the singles, but I haven't haven't actually gone around to picking up more than just volume one. Message to Adolf, one and two. Uh, pick those up on the restock. I think they're just uh, kind of hard to get your hand on right now. I might be wrong, but uh, they should be reprinting. I think, is it Vertical who does this? I'm not sure. I'm going to do a cut here. Next up is uh, volumes 1 through 40 of Berserk with enough room to fit in a volume 41. So I prefer the singles. Not a big fan of any other deluxe editions. Uh, the only one I own is Blade of the Immortal because it's not super ugly. But um, yeah, I enjoy single volume volumes for manga if, they're, if they are uh, available, readily available. Where a series like 20th Century Boys is easier to get in the omnibus, so that's why I went for that. Um, Dead Man Wonderland 1 through 13. I think this is pretty hard to get your hands on right now. But it's also just not super worth spending um, scalp, scalper, price, scalper prices. It's an okay series, just read it online really. Um, watch the anime first and then if you, if you want to see how it actually ends, just keep reading from i think it's like halfway through or something like that uh black torch um rip black torch it, it, it would have been a great manga if they allowed it to continue but no it got five volumes kind of sad your name one through three big waste of money don't pick this up just watch the movie this literally looked like they uh drew over uh still shots of the movie so yeah gotta do it do what you gotta do, I guess, to make some money. This is uh, one of the ongoing series on here, which is Boruto, uh, 1 through 13. Uh, super trash, but I um, I have this thing where I feel like I need to, to own this piece of trash um, manga to feel like I've completed Naruto, because so, it's a official sequel, so what can I say? Um, it's bad. Like it, it has no redeeming qualities. They really made a great story, which is Naruto, into a four out of five, four out of, out of, out of ten, at best. <laughs> so yeah, don't be fooled by all the the fanboys. The the manga is shit. It doesn't help that a lot of the story has to be explained through the anime. So. One through seventy-two of OG Naruto, so this is good. Really enjoy it. Um, it's goaded. It's definitely not perfect, but it's uh, 
part of my childhood and part of a lot of people's childhood, to be honest. And I mean, just look at these covers compared to... Uh, I don't know. Naruto, gotta read it. Boruto, just d don't bother. It's not worth your time. Um, next up, we have Parasite, one through eight. Uh, I think they're, they're coming out with, like, full-color editions of these for anybody who's interested. So, if you want to read the, the manga behind the, the great anime, then, you know, just give it a read. It's pretty short and pretty good. Uh, another waste of money, Nichijou. Uh, I know there's a box set out there. Don't give Kodansha your money. I know it says vertical, but... Kodansha owns vertical, so yeah, don't be fooled. And if you really want to experience Nichijou, just watch the anime. I mean, it's funnier than reading a, ga a gag manga. Like, it's just not funny at all. So you have been warned. Read it at your own discretion, but just know that it's 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 not just not worth it. <laughs> um, the quintessential quintuplets. 1 through 14, complete, and The Silent Voice. I need. Re I re keep forgetting I bought this. I bought the box set when it restocked, and I, I really need to read it, honestly. <laughs> I, I read uh, Quintessential Qu Quintuplets, but I try not to look at these volumes, because just look at the fucking quality. Like, the trim size is all out of whack, and, like, these are, like, slanted. Like, they go from a low point to a high point. High point. Makes no sense, but then you see who printed them, and then you know why uh, they're shit. It's Kodansha. Uh, next up, Promise Neverland. Uh, it was okay. Not perfect or anything. It was uh, like up until Goldie Pond, it was really good, and then it got kind of bad, and the ending was bad, but not as bad as the enemy. Shit note. Um, Burn the Witch. Bleach. I love Bleach. Bleach and, and Naruto is kind of tied for me, and because th those are some of the long series I watched as a child, and I gotta, yeah, they're just goaded. They're part of the big three for a reason, and I'm sure when I get finished with One Piece, I'm gonna think it's goaded too. But right now, as it is, as I've only read twenty volumes of One Piece, I I still prefer. 20 volumes of Naruto or 20 volumes of Bleach for now, but you know, I haven't read the rest of One Piece, so there's still a lot of chance that it'll come out on top. Uh, here's one of my personal favorites, Magi 1 through 37. Great battle shonen with an absolute gorgeous release by Viz. This manga kind of makes super amazing uh, covers, and the volumes are so beautiful, but this is also the same mangaka that made um, Orient, which is a piece of shit. So, 1 through 25 of Nisekoi. Need to read this. I even have the the elusive volume 13. Um, not sure why they haven't reprinted that. They keep reprinting 1 through 12 and 14 through 25, but 13 just doesn't get a reprint, which is kind of weird. Goat and Sheep, nice little short read. And down here we have... Um, 1 through 53 of Fairy Tale and 1 through 9 of Fairy Tale 100 Year Quest. Only missing last box set for Fairy Tale and then it's going to be complete. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like Fairy Tale, but I personally love it because it's part of my. Like, that's like what I grew up on. Even more so than Naruto and, and Bleach, I grew up on, on Fairy Tale. So I love Hiro uh, Mashima's uh, works, even though they're, they're copy paste and very generic trash, but. I don't know, I like trash, just not Boruto. Next up, uh, one through... This is the main section of, of the manga, so... This is, this is the aisle area. Um, and, and then there's manga here, so I, I have plenty of space for growth. And, you know, you can always double stack if you need to, but... I'm gonna try not to double stack for as long as I can, and then whenever I... I have to double stack, you know, you can like collect one piece on one shelf to save up space, but um, yeah, that's going to be a while before I have to do that, so might as well just enjoy this 
collection as it is right now for now but yeah uh golden Cam camoey 1 through 25 did i say 26 but yeah it's 25 it's a good seinen manga it has a bit of everything and it's really good a lot of people don't like it because it has too much but um what can i say i like a series that has a lot of different aspects to it so golden Cam kamui is right up my alley uh, next up is a single volume of the Yakuza's Guide to Babysitting. I missed the release for volume 2, so I'm writing on a restock. Uh, yeah, it's basically um, Way of the House Husband, but about babysitting. <laughs> Next up is Gojo's. Goat Joe's. Jojo's. Parts 1, 2, 3, 4, and whatever is out of 5. Um... These release a bit slow, but I mean, what can you do? It's a crazy world out there. But yeah, uh, really enjoying Jojo, Jojo's. Love the anime. Uh, for my read of the manga, I'm at part three, but I've been picking up these as they were coming out. Um, just to make sure that I, <laughs> I have them and I don't have to wait on restocks. Uh, Vinland Saga 1 through 12. Need to get on to reading that. I, I really enjoyed what I read, but... What can I say? There's just so many things to read and so many books keep coming out on the series that I'm already reading, so a lot to do. Uh, Golden Cat, no, no. <laughs> I saw the KA and my brain immediately went for Kamui. No, it's Kakiguri. Kakiguri. Ka yeah. However you pronounce that, 1 through 13. I do have 14, but it's in my bedroom. It's pretty trash, gambling manga. I mean,. You pretty much just read this for the gr great art. Like, it's it's fantastic art. What can I say? I mean, the art is super gorgeous. Um, really detailed. And uh, there's some fun moments and some pretty exciting moments, but nothing super special. Uh, oh no, my volume is damaged. Oh well. Volume 1 through 7 of uh, Way of the House Husband. This is pretty fun. It's kind of a thin release. Sorry for these leaders. I'm When moving stuff around, you end up with random spaces. So, again, you do what you gotta do. Uh, up here, we have a Mai. What's her name? It's Mai from Rascal. Um, I can't remember her last name. Oh, Sakurajima. That's her name. It says on the stand. Dog Ningen 1 through 2, a uh, piece of trash manga. Don't believe anybody who says this is good. It's absolute dog shit, and it looks like dog shit, and it's not even funny at all. It's it's the one of the worst things I've ever read, and that's why it's right next to Ass Boy Riverside. A fucking, this manga should not exist. Like, it's the most generic piece of shit. Uh, fantasy manga and it's made by Kodansha and uh, Kodansha gonna go out of business someday for making decisions like printing uh, Spoy Riverside but oh well Heavenly Delusion um, it, it was pretty good but it's Denpa and I'm very torn about giving Denpa my money because they're so shit at releasing their stuff like it's t it takes too long and then I don't know. I don't like them, but Denver is is kind of whack. Uh, the two volumes of uh, The Rascal Does Not Dream Of. Um, yeah, Does Not Dream Of. Bunny Girl Senpai and Does Not Dream Of. Pitsy Devil Kohai. I think there's only two volumes of the manga out for English at least. So hope they're going to do more because it was actually a really good adaptation. Um, I personally really enjoyed it and... I would love to have the complete set someday, but we'll see. Psalm 100, 1 through 5. It's a great starter manga. And if you enjoy a good zombie story, this is this is for you. It's a bit expensive for, for the size of the volumes, but at least volume 5 is a lot thicker than the rest of them. But these middle volumes were kind of thin. Um, Which had Atelier? 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 However you pronounce that, um, haven't read this one, picked it up because they had a complete set at my local store and I had some store credit. Asadora, 1 through 4. 
it's Urasawa, what can I say, it's goaded. Uh, single volume of Kana, uh, The Daily Light of Kana. Um, daily Light, Daily Light. Ooh, it's kind of late, so my, <laughs> my speech might be kind of fucked. But uh, Daily Life of Kana. It was, I don't know, I, I really like Kana. She's the best character in um, in Dragon Maid. She's cute and, uh, she's funny and it's like super cute. Um, so yeah, this manga, it's, I don't know, it's not good enough for me to pick up anymore. And I'm satisfied with the amount of, of Kana that's in the, in the anime. So I don't feel like I need to pick up any more of the spin-offs or the main manga. So I just have this one volume to kind of support uh, the creator. Fun fact. The person who made this also made this piece of shit manga. This cool, cool cuisine, Cynthia. So yeah, they can make banger manga and they can make absolute dog shit manga. Uh, next up, Devil is a part timer. The manga one through seventeen up to date and. Also, the high school spinoff. I really love Devil as a Part-Timer, and this manga is great. The light novel might be better. I haven't read it, but I really enjoyed this um, this manga. It's really, really good. And anybody who, who liked the anime should really pick this up, because it goes way beyond what's covered in the anime, and it's really nice. Right, moving on. Volumes 1 through 21 of... Uh, Ass class, I really enjoyed this. This is a nice shorter series with a definite end and a definite start, so really good. And I, I feel like it ended pretty nice. And there's a lot of good characters in here, and and honestly, might be up for a reread soon. I I can't really make up my mind if I if it's time for a reread or if it's too soon. But I I really enjoyed my first read of this. Then we have 1 through 36 of Food Wars. I went out of my way and bought all the volumes since I f embraced my nasty man. Um, my inner nasty man. Uh, I, I, I just said, you know what, fuck it. Let's go for it. Let's buy them all. Have them in the collection. As this is probably one of the most mainstream uh, nasty man manga out there outside of fucking high school DXD or... Um, what else is there? Um, prison school. Uh, my, f one of my favorite manga, Blue Exorcist, uh, 1 through 26. I mean, oof, the covers are great. Kind of spoilers, but what can I, what can I say? If you were here and you wanted to hear my opinion on these series, then tough shit. Blue Exorcist, really good. Uh, 1 through 23 of One Punch Man. Uh, love One Punch Man. The art in these are fantastic. Um, not sure why they went with the connected thing here. Um, kind of looks weird when the rest are all character arts on the spine, but oh well. Comey can't communicate. Um, this is slowly, slowly falling out of favor with me because... God damn it, it's long. It's 350 chapters and ongoing. And no rom-con should ever be that long. Like, Jesus Christ. It's gotten to a point where it's written itself into a point of being so long that it's bad. I love Comey, but... It really needs to wrap up, like, real soon. Undead Unluck. Um, it's okay. Mashal, love Mashal. I love the humor, love the world. Big fan of like the the ma and the mix up of Harry Potter and One Punch Man, and the humor is just right up my alley. Um, moving on, Black Clover one through twenty eight. Goaded manga. What can I say? Jujutsu Kaisen one through fourteen. This is probably the like the art in this is so bad. I can't stand the the art and and Jujutsu Kaisen like it's. It's so rough, and some people like it, but I'm definitely of the opinion that it's dog shit art. But the story is good at least, so that's that's the story is good enough that I can forgive the art being bad. But the art is so bad. 
Free Rune 1 through 3. It's a great new series that uh, this is releasing. It actually won some sort of award, I believe. Um, doesn't say on the volume. Uh, but it won some sort of award, and it's actually really good. It's it's People say it's kind of a slice of life, but it's really not. It's actually pretty dark at times, so read at your own discretion. It, it deals with some like deeper issues with society and like some biases and so on but it's it's really really good i really enjoy it and and it, it tackles this concept of time really well by showing it from a, a, a point of view that lives for thousands of years and sees these months and years go by like they were minutes and hours and it's it's really cool so yeah next up one piece i went with the omnibus route because I ain't trying to fight with all four of those box sets for something that I might not even like, so... I went with the Omnibuses, and they've honestly grown on me. I'm kind of really, really enjoying this Omnibus release of One Piece, actually. A lot of people think they're ugly. They can have their opinion. I think they're okay. Mm -hmm. It's my collection, so... I'm leaving the box sets for you guys. So yeah, happy hunting. <laughs> And you guys finally found, uh, caught up with us omnibus collectors because we've had up to 93 for a while so yeah the omnibus for shaman king i wish i had the same goals but i mean gotta do what you gotta do to get a series in your collection at least now i won't feel bad if i beat the scams because i own the the omnibuses they're the biggest issue with these is that they're standard sized and like a lot thicker than a regular three in one from like this so they are bricks and they kind of <clears throat> have a high tendency of cracking. So I'd be careful when reading these. But if they just made these the same height as, uh, say, an uh, oversized volume like uh, the Kakaguris or the, the Seven Deadly Sins Omnibuses, they would have been so much nicer to look at. But no, they made them short and fat, just like me. <laughs> Next up, 1 through 30 of um, My Hero Academia. My Hero is luckily coming to an end soon. Um, at least that's what it feels like in the manga. Uh, I like My Hero Academia, but it's definitely not the second coming of Christ. It's, uh, it's a good starter manga. That's, what I'm all, that's all what I'm going to say. 1 through 11 of Vigilantes. I really need to get back on reading us. <laughs> I haven't read any more since the last video. Just been picking up the volumes. In here we have the most overrated manga of... of new, like of... <sighs> Chainsaw Man is good in my opinion, but people are kind of going crazy over it for no reason. It's not that impressive to me. Um, but who knows, maybe the last two volumes will change my mind. I doubt it, but... Yeah, Chainsaw Man, a good manga, but it's, I, I don't know, the, the it's just how popular it is, is it's making me not like it. I know it's weird, but I don't like overhyped things, and it's definitely being overhyped. Fly Me to the Mid, uh, shout out to HBL Manga. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to keep fly saying that this is Fly Me to the Mid because of her now, but um, yeah, it's the most generic rom-com. You can probably ever find just watch the anime if you like the anime keep picking up the manga but yeah it's definitely nothing spectacular orient um look at this fucking kodansha can't even put the local uh, uh, like these spines are all misaligned fucking kodansha but yeah orient have amazing covers amazing art and a four out of ten story uh hopefully it picked it, it's been picking up in these like from five and onwards it's been pretty good but god damn it this uh mangaka really really is lacking like they need a break and they need to not make orient <laughs> uh spy family uh get your volumes now while you can this is gonna be big the anime just came out and I don't know. Also, all you pedophilic guys on Twitter, uh, fuck you. And also, stop being weird. Like, this girl is not sexualized at all in this manga. She's just cute and hilarious. She's, she's basically Ikana from Dragon Maid. And 
y'all need get need to get some some help like reach out to some professionals they will gladly help you but jesus christ get off twitter eden Sira one through 15 hiramashima um let me uh let me find the uh, the the good cover <laughs> I mean, you can say what you want, but Hiromashima knows how to draw some pretty nice covers. Wait, where is it? It has... Oh, well, this is not the one. Oh, wait, is it? Oh, here we go. Goaded cover. <laughs> no, I, I, I enjoyed the anime. It's just fairy tale in space, and I've heard it gets a lot darker. Uh, and deals with some some other themes uh, later on, so can't wait to get into this. But this is one of the only... <sighs> again. Look at these fucking logos all over the place. Like, oh well. Eden Zero, pretty good. Uh, Moriarty the Patriot one through six up to date. It's a good like thriller manga. If you enjoy uh, Sherlock Holmes, you could look into this, but I would probably just watch the anime to begin with. Uh, Higihiro, uh, I shaved uh, after being rejected, I shaved and took in a high school runaway. Just watch the anime. This manga release is kind of whack. It's made by One Piece Books, and it's, I don't know, It's it's been hard for me to track these down for some reason. Moving on, uh, first... Real nice demand series of this video. Uh, prison school. Got this for myself after graduating school. So nice little graduation gift for myself right here. Uh, 1 through 14. I don't have the the spin-off um, one shot. So might need to get that. But it's not high on my priority list. 1 through 15 of uh, Grand Blue. It's pretty funny. Die Dark. Um... This release by Seven Seas is absolutely fucking amazing. Like, so gorgeous. It's heavy as hell. And the paper quality is amazing. I have absolutely no clue what's going on in the story with Die Dark. But it's, like, so interesting that I keep buying them and keep reading them. So, hopefully there's going to be a good story. But right now it's just a bunch of random events, it feels like. But I'm kind of along for the ride. Uh, my senpai is annoying. It's pretty good. Full color manga. If you enjoy a good uh, odd couple romance, this is right up your alley. Watch the anime. If you like it, pick up the manga. That's going to be my main <laughs> takeaway from this video is watch the anime. If you like it, pick up the manga. The Witch and the Beast, volumes 1 through 8. Um, fantastic dark fantasy series. Don't be fooled by these covers. They make it look kind of like a shoujo or jose manga, but it's balls to the wall uh, action with super gorgeous artwork inside and a pretty deep story with a lot of like cool magic systems and it's really really good. Like check it out if you're in the market for a dark fantasy series. Um, also, I just noticed. It goes white, uh, black, white, black, white. Kind of nice. Looks kind. Uh, looks nice on the shelves. Ooh, I'm on my knees right now, so <laughs> sorry if um, I'm losing my breath from talking so much. Uh, Blue period one through five, pretty good. If you uh, have trauma from <laughs> going through art school, don't read this. But if you have any inclination towards uh, traditional art, uh, this is a good, good series. Uh, this is a very shit manga. Rent a girl, girlfriend. I'm only picking it up. up uh, uh, only picking it up because I've already been picking it up, and I hate quitting buying series. The spinoff was at least a breath of fresh air. Um, focusing on on the 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 shy girl. Um, but yeah. Um, <laughs> every single volume have the same story beat. So if you read the first one. You know what ha what's happening in the 11th. And I've heard it's only downhill, so. 
Here we have volumes 1 through 13 of Hell's Paradise. Fantastic short manga with a definite start and a definite end. This wrapped up really, really well. So if you're in the market for a good uh, seinen, this is, this is really good. Anime coming out soon. So if you're on the... If you're having a hard time deciding, wait for the anime, watch it. If you enjoy it, pick it up. Sorry about that. I um, <coughs> almost died. So, one through four of uh, Dress Up Darling. My Dress Up Darling, really great uh, rom com. The anime was fantastic. And I, I mean, what can I say? It's one of my uh, my favorite rom coms right now. What's a Koi? I uh, almost finished. This is like one of the only nice releases Konansha has ever done. You know, gotta gotta give them credit where credit is where credit is <laughs> where credit is due. These releases are really nice. So you you did good, Kodansha. This is a good release. Full Metal Alchemist singles. Not a big fan of hard covers, so I bought the singles. The box set. What can I say? Singles all the way. Mob Psycho. I would probably just watch the anime, to be honest. Mob Psycho manga is... It's, if you are a big fan of Mob Psycho, pick up the manga. Support the mangaka. Support one. But, um... Yeah. You could just watch the anime. The anime is... It's 10 out of 10. It's like one of my favorite shows. Uh, D-Mid Slayer. <laughs> Only bought this because I ran into the box set on release in store. So and we, we are also we're currently reading it for uh, the Dark Sages book club. If anybody's interested, you should go check it out. It's really fun. We have a great time on a stream. We are eight volumes deep. So I mean, it's it's pretty funny. It's pretty fun to read something. Uh, with all the homies and, and discuss it and kind of clown on it because there's a lot to clown on in this manga so I don't know uh, it's a good time check it out if you were, if any of you guys are interested uh, next up Gal Gohan again shout out to Chase I I was kind of hesitant to pick this up but he, he w vouched for it and I, I picked him up and I gotta say not disappointed it's a, it's a bit of a t uh, more on the wholesome side of um of a um, nasty man manga, but ah, uh, there's a lot of ass and a lot of titties in there. So, what can I say? It's completely censored though, so it's only a seven seas release. It's not ghost ship, so you can read this in front of your family, no problem. Uh, next up, Usagi Chan wants to hang out. I have no idea where volume six is. It's like on indefinite uh, <clears throat> delay here in Europe for some reason. I need that volume 6, even though I've read it, but I need it. I need it for my collection. It needs to go in here. Like, where is it? Seven Seas, give me my books. <laughs> we have this piece of shit manga, How Do We Relationship. It's like the most boring manga I've ever, ever read. It's just not good. Like, and it's kind of disappointing because I bet there are very good Yuri manga out there. With fantastic stories, but this is just a story about two borderline shitty people being in a relationship and then treating each other like crap. Start for me. I'm picking this up to see where it goes, but I'm probably going to get rid of this eventually. Uh, the Faraway Paladin. I picked this up because I really enjoyed, <laughs> enjoyed the anime. The Volume 2 is in my room right now. And um, again... Watch the anime. If you like it, pick this up. This is a release by J Novel Club, so that's why it's like uh, it's a weird um, trim size. Like it's short and fat. Like this is a regular Vis volume. And this is a J Novel Club omnibus release. So, oh well. Next up, three volumes of Bofori, the manga. Uh, it's not for for most people, but I love a good power fantasy. Next up. ID Invaded, or It Invaded, uh, which is called Break Broken. Yeah, Break Broken. This is a manga sequel to the ad or anime original uh, It Invaded. If you're interested, go re watch the anime, because this is a sequel. The original doesn't have a manga, 
it only has the anime. Not sure why they decided to make a manga sequel, but hmm, who knows. I enjoyed it. It it kind of gave it a, a decent ending, so <laughs> what can I say? It's a, it's a big brain manga and anime, though. Just you got to stay awake for to catch the story. <coughs> um Fire Force. What can I say? I love Atsuji Ob Ob Obuku. Obuku. At Sushi Obuku. Yeah. Also, this manga has some some baddies. Um, I actually don't know. Oh, yeah. This scene with, with this chick and Arrow in the anime. That scene was golden. Uh, per peak. Peak. But, um, yeah. Fire Force is not peak. It's good, but it's not peak. It's a great, it's a great shonen, but it's nothing fantastic, but it's good. We never learned really great uh, harem quintessential esque manga. It's gonna be ending soon in the rele uh, English release, so get on it while you can before it goes out of print, I guess. <laughs> uh, volumes one through twenty three of Noragami. You need to read this. Um, I enjoyed the anime. I've been picking up the manga on recommendation from a friend, so what can I say? Oof. Just realized a lot of these volumes got the famous Kodansha and Nick. Kodansha, man, their quality is ass. Dr. Stone, the the spin-off, and 1 through 20. I, I'm excited to see that this has ended. Um... Don't want a lot of series to go on for like hundreds and hundreds of chapters, but this has a decent size. I think it's like 26 volumes or something like that. So we'll soon have all of them in English and then I'm going to read it and enjoy it because I really enjoyed the anime. So yeah, uh, Kaguya-sama volumes 1 through 21. I really love this series. Uh, glad I picked it up when I did, because apparently the volumes are super hard to get your hands off right now, so... Hopefully, the, these are on the, the outsourcing, the reprint outsourcing list, so they'll be more readily available, because I hope more people read this than the third season of the, the anime just came out, so... Yeah, great series, really fun, uh, very wholesome. Twin Store Exorcist, really need to read this, nothing much to say. Great Jahi uh, will not be defeated. Square Enix is missing so bad. Like, this came out, like, so long ago when the, the anime came out. Volume 2 is, like, maybe coming out this month. Maybe not. Who the fuck knows with Square Enix? They release manga so fucking slow. Like, it's a joke. <laughs> uh, volumes 1 through 6 of Soul Eater. 1... Through two of the breaker, great little uh, manhwa. Have a little manhwa moment here uh, with uh, the breaker solo leveling. Great series. Uh, Fist of the North Star classic. Days on Fest. It's basically laid back camp, but about festivals. <clears throat> Maisen Koku classic. Record of Ragnarok. One of the most overhyped uh, first volumes of all time. Uh, Seven Deadly Sins, the Omnibus, I really like this Omnibus release because it's an oversized Omnibus, so. Uh, this is pretty, uh, It's a, they're doing a decent job with this Omnibus release, Kodansha, gotta give them that, but. Uh, trim size is all off, so quality is still pretty shit, I can see. Boys Run the Riot, nice short little LGBTQ plus manga about fashion. Great, uh, great little story that's nicely wrapped up in four volumes. Really, really entertaining. And <clears throat> almost at the end now, uh, only four shelves more. So, uh, Bakemonogatari, haven't read this yet. Pick this up on recommendations from Base Senpai, and the art is fantastic inside. So, yeah, what can I say? Laid back camp, got a lot of laid back camp, got a laid back camp figure right there. Uh, Battle India Leader, I'm gonna be picking up all the paperback editions of, of all these just because I want to read it. 
Uh, I know they're shitty omnibuses by Konanja, but the cheapest way to read these, so that's what I'm gonna do. And then we have a temporary shelf right here with some Kaiju number eight and Call of the Night, two great series. Then we have a um, sorry for for the mess. I I haven't moved. these were supposed to go right here in the Kalex, but yeah, uh, one through sixteen of Dragon Ball. I picked all all the volumes that are out for Dragon Ball up over the weekend. So yeah. Uh, they're not here yet, though. The The box set with 1 through 16 showed up, and the rest is going to show up sometime next week, which is going to be dope, and I'm going to finally be able to to reread Dragon Ball. I read all of Dragon Ball. I haven't read C, and I haven't read Super, but looking forward to reading this someday. <coughs> and now, for the final two shows, the Nasty Man shows. This is where the holy text was stored. I... This is where the titties and ass be. If you need something nasty, it's here. I need more, but it's here. Someday I'm going to have a shelf completed with all nasty men. But for right now, it's this little section. But these are all bangers. Machimaho. <laughs> and these are, I haven't read this. <laughs> Great way to start off this section. Like, oh, I haven't read this. But yeah, no, yeah. I, I, I need to read this. Oof, there's some cake, man. Damn, he's almost as caked up as the Chase the Dark Sage. Join his Twitch streams to see that for yourself. Hmm. <laughs> Next up, uh, one of the Holy Trinity superhero, uh, Super X Zeros. Uh, what can I say? It's it's good. Hentai Avengers, call it whatever you want, but it, it's it's one of it's the OG holy text, and that's holy with an e y because holes. <laughs> uh, next up, cat uh, hot cat in a hot girl's dorm. This was okay. I think this is made by the same person. Aaron Ninja Scrolls. Aaron Ninja Scrolls is pretty nasty. It's actually really nasty, but yeah. And here we have the peak rom com. Hitomi Chan is shy with strangers. Hitomi Chan clears Komi any day. Only because Komi has written herself and has been written into uh, a, a slow slump. And this is nice and short. And I, what can I say? Hitomi Chan is hot as hell. I mean, yeah, Komi, go home. You ain't got nothing on, on Hitomi Chan. Next up is another part of the. Of the Holy Trinity, of the sacred text, of the Holy Text. Um, do you like big girls? Volumes one through three. This is real nasty. And uh, shout out to Boogie Snacks. Your volumes are in the mail. Couldn't get your volume two, but uh, what can I say? One and three. I'm gonna be in your collection. Gonna corrupt you. Make you a nasty man. Next up, one through five of um, of these thin ass. Like, look how thin that is. Uh, of interspecies reviewers like Jesus Christ. Um, please put them on Takamine san volume one and volume 1.5 because that, th that thing is thin as fuck. I'm not sure why they decided to do that. Um, also, this was like <laughs> they uh, delayed this so many times that <laughs> it makes no sense because it's so thin, like it's half the size of volume one. It's ridiculous. The Dangerous in My Heart, Volumes 1 and 3, kind of cute. Uh, Gabriel Dropout, Waste of Money. Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro, Peak. Um, overpowered, uh, the hero is overpowered, but it will be cautious. Just watch the anime, the anime is hilarious, the manga is not as good. Um, no matter what you say, Furis and Scary, Odd Co uh, 1 and 2, uh, Odd Couple Romance, pretty good. Uh, 2.5, Dimensional Seduction, it's pretty cute, uh, not super nasty, but it has some great art and a pretty decent story. Succubus and Hitman, it's nasty, but it's also, like, nasty, like, yuck, like, there's, like, rape and stuff in here, and if you're faint of heart... Don't read it. It's super dark and yeah, it's um, 
It has a good story. It's not a good story. It's an entertaining story. It's, there's nothing good about it, but it's entertaining at least. And the art is pretty cool. And the last of the trinity of the holy text, the Witches of Adamas. I mean, you. <laughs> I think this starts off, let me see here off camera. Yeah, this starts off with a full color like titty page. Like, that's the first thing you see when you open this. And then it goes on to show some other stuff. And I... Yeah, this manga has... Um, oh, you can't really see it. It has like 30 plus color pages. And they're all nasty. So, if you're interested in that, pick up Witches of Adamas. So, superheroes. Do you like big ghosts of Witches of Adamas? Those are the holy texts. Those are the holy trinity. Um... The 100 Girlfriends, who really, 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 really love you. Really wholesome harem series, which... It, it, every chapter has, like, a new girl. Uh, so, I mean, man's ha handling business, I, I, I guess. Like, he he's getting girls left and right, and it's a pretty wholesome story. And I read a handful of chapters and really enjoyed it and picking it up. So, really good. And... These are all seven C's. Uh, Yen Press, Vertical. So, Vertical has this weird, wide ass trim size. So, it looks hella weird on the shelf. But yeah, this is mainly seven C's, as you can see. And most of it is Go Ship. And then down here is the latest addition to the Nasty Man collection, which is 1 through 18 in the omnibuses of, um, of To Love Room. And 1 through 18 of Total Over Darkness. So, um, yeah, I, I have no idea if I'm going to like this. But I heard it's nasty. And I heard a lot of people say it's good. And, yeah, got to be reading this pretty soon. Also, I paid like 100 bucks for this. Because it was out of print. And everybody I talked to uh, in stores were like, yeah, they don't produce it anymore. And it just restocked online. So, fuck me, I guess. I even have two volumes because... I don't even know how it happened. It, it was sent from a like half priced books in the US on accident because I tried to buy one through a, a, a British website and then they canceled, but then the, the physical store shipped it out anyways. So I have two of these, so what can I say? I was happy to have them when they were actually worth some money, but now they had a reprint, so oh well. That was the collection. All, 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 I don't even know how many volumes there are. There's a lot of them though, so. But there's also a lot of space for a lot of, like, a lot of additions. There's always pre-orders coming in, always old series to pick up, so. Yeah, that was all for this time. Hope you guys enjoyed listening to me ramble about Kodansha and quality control and watching the anime before you buy the manga. <laughs> so, anyways, have a good one, guys. See you in the next one.